All right, YouTube, what we're doing today is we're attaching my transom, well, not the full transom, but the uh, aluminum piece inside that holds the transom in. So we're gonna be riveting everything here along this side that needs rivets. Uh, and then I believe we're going underneath the boat and focusing on some of the rivets underneath. So stay tuned and let's have some fun. Sorry for the different angle, guys. We had to do a couple of things. Start the thing going on here. That's good now. Get some rivets in. No. I don't want to strip it. That's... Yeah, that's an option. Yeah, it's about as tight as I can go. It's kind of stopped on me there. Alright, uh... we'll put one, like two over here. Not let me let me screw it in. All right, then put put it over here on the other one. The one that I was on before. Yeah. <laughs> this center one's just real tight. Like we're gonna for whatever reason. Right, in case what you can't see what we're doing here guys we're just putting some screws into the back of the transom try one um, in the second hole in the second hole 
Yeah. So we can have this thing hold into a, <coughs> our back support. So that way when I start to rivet, we don't have to worry about it jumping around or anything too much. It's the same thing, it's not really letting me screw it too much. Started. Yeah, I think it might be the screwdriver. It's just kind of narrow. It's just kind of like if it's stripping the uh, screw. Really? Yeah. It's just a little... My other set of screwdrivers is a little too narrow. I think they're under the, the seat, the driver's seat in the boat there. It's about the same as the other one, but maybe it'll grip a little bit better. We have four screws in, three on this side. The, uh, four on the other. The end, but... That's as tight as I can go. Right, the second one. Yeah, same with that. for some loud noises here guys. Hopefully you can uh, see me here. Uh, my rivet's too fat. <laughs> it looks like it wants to go in but it's just, uh, it's a little too thick. Can, can you hammer it? Jerry? Might be able to. Drop it. I can't get a good grip on it. What the? I don't know if I left my needle nose pliers over there. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah. Just with the gas thing. Try it because I mean, it looks like it should fit right in there, but it just, for whatever reason, doesn't seem like it wants to want to go in. Yeah. 
drill it out a bit. That means we're probably going to drill out all of them, aren't we? Well, as you saw, some of them were looser than other ones. Oh, true, true. I try not to, you know, you don't want to get them like too sloppy or you won't get a good seal with your... Right. Should I put the uh, sealant on as I'm putting it in, or? Yeah, sorry. All right. Oh, you're good. Now I guess we're ready for the sealant. And you can squirt it in the hole, too. That's... Should I go ahead and squirt yeah. some into the trash? Sure. Gently over the furnace there. I just have to do that. going to be like up facing up and you might want to heat it a little bit over the over the furnace that might yeah. see if that's a little might help it uh, it's a little rough flow better because of the stages up here that's just <laughs> that or it's me do you want to... <laughs> I, I honestly don't know <laughs> so my hands are kind of feeling a little a little iffy but Steam sealant over a kerosene heater. I don't see how it got that cold that quickly. I mean, it was in your house. Right. You can see it very, very slowly, kind of.
stainless steel right here. Look at this. It's kind of nice. I'm wondering if we don't even need, like, from what some of the directions were saying on that, we might be able to just go underneath the boat and just apply that after the rivets are installed, too. Be nice to get a little bit, like, inside the rivet. waiting for our sealant there. Those. At least now you don't gotta worry about that little piece of cement there. It's sealed. Just a little bit around. Yeah. Just a little bit thin, right? Yeah. Hmm. Maybe that's what I should almost do. If I get the glob out a bit, maybe I can. Uh, Too bad we couldn't open it up in a way and just kind of mix it around that I could just kind of paint it on, you know? If I start to smell melting plastic, I'll let you know. See the buckets start to tip in where <laughs> you know, it's gotten too hot. Well, I mean, it does say to give a good three feet worth over the clearance, so. <laughs> I can always move it back a little bit too. If we feel like it's getting a little too, too heated. But at least that way we know it's going to be 40 degrees. 40 degrees plus. <laughs>
in. Uh, I'm going to want you to take a look at this one. It is poking out, out this way, something awful. And I don't know if I just put sealant around it, it'll be fine, or... Try it again. Down here. I think they're next to you on the uh, side there, on the side rail. You should have longer ones in that thing there. Oh. Should have a half inch and three eighths. Half inch, I think we're in the bag. Yep, I bet. Put a half inch through there. Let me see how much it sticks out. One second. That sticks out a lot. <laughs> yeah, that should be fine. Okay. I'll grab my sealant.
tilt it a little bit, but I don't want to hit it again. No, that, that should be good. I'm just gonna put a little sealant around it. There we go. Not gonna be the prettiest job, but it's not the prettiest boat either, so. When you paint it, nobody will know the difference. Exactly right. Alright, wanna do the end one next? Yeah. No, the uh. You can take that out because it's not doing anything. Now I'm putting these screws in my pocket, just so you know. Yeah. A shot. Come on. Where's my persuader? about right. Excuse me. You want to do the same thing on the other end with the screws? Yeah. Is that middle screw in there? Or the end screw? Yeah, it's a lot. Barely, but it's in. I lost the lost the nut somewhere. It's gonna let me screw it in. Oh, damn. Okay. 
tighten it up anymore. that far from the heater, come on. Oh, damn it. I got some on my hands. Oh no! You alright? Yeah, it just I was putting my hand up near the front and uh, near the front of it and put my hand right in it. I know it's a bad thing if I get it on my hand or not. Can't be good. Hmm? Huh? So it can't be good. It'll be waterproof then. <laughs> Don't have to worry about washing that one spot. Exactly. Sorry, hold on a second. 
second. All right. That'd be good. My hose is uh, a little stiff. All right, there we go. to look okay. I mean, I put a little bit more uh, sealant around them, so I'm hoping they're okay, but uh, it's the nut off. Instead of just screwing it. <laughs> The uh, DeWalt one, or? yeah. Well, a bit, bits are just hanging loose in there. There's some new Craftsman ones still in the package on the bottom there too. Just need us one of those. Just, just a little too. Yeah. Because I don't like to go a full amount. I'm trying to put as small of a yeah. bead as I can with this too, just so that way. Right. But I figure as long as it like, as long as it's just kind of like around where the rim is sitting. Yeah. I should be okay. Yep. Yeah.
Looking good. Sticking out a bit too. Still, so, what is uh, the screw? Like it, uh, it won't go any tighter than what it's currently at, but it's still kind of sticking out a bit. You want to hit it lightly with the impact? Or? No, I think it's all right. All right. One of the other ones was like that too. Grab my GoPro here real quick. Getting a little closer here. Hopefully you guys are able to see kind of what we're doing here without me being in the way. Oh, I already got one. Alright, so I put sealant around the hole and a little bit in the hole so you can take the rivet stick it in and that should hopefully be enough sealant to help keep the rivets from leaking for when the boat's in the water. Ready? Yep. I'm trying to. Alright, take that. I don't want to go too tight with the impact here. The funny thing is, as I'm looking into the hole, I see the, the, sh the marks from the uh, screw. <laughs> so... So it's like it was threading the hole. Oops. Sorry, guys. The object of the game is to make this be as tight as possible without damaging the aluminum and to make it so nothing leaks into the transom. Although the transom will be a resin, we still don't want water getting into it. Ready? Yep.
So, as you can see, I'm drilling out some of the holes here. It's because although these rivets are probably supposed to fit perfectly within these holes, uh, just whatever happened to the original rivets that were here, as they were not, it was not being held on by rivets when we, when I got the boat. I think either just them getting forced out of the hole caused a mushroom or like some type of effect inside of the hole that kind of made it to where the rivets just won't seat correctly. So we have to like remove just a little bit here so the rivets fit in. I'm gonna try with the screwdriver real quick just to make uh, sure. Maybe you can get it. I, I just didn't want to go too hard with the, uh, with the impact. There you go, it's coming. I think it may have just been the angle that I had with the impact, so it's like I didn't want to force it in. Probably would have helped. What? If I had it the right direction. <laughs> it's probably the other reason why it wasn't working. Okay. Uh, not yet. I, I dropped the. I got the nut on already. All right. I just dropped the one screw, and I want to pick it up so we don't. So I don't forget about it. I just held down the drill. Seems to work pretty good. Instead. It does. I'm rather impressed with it. Uh, yep, just gonna move on down.
hopefully you guys can still see here. Heater's doing pretty good over here, Dave. Yeah, you gotta get down to your t shirt now. No, not yet. <laughs> well, it's doing its job with the, with the sealant, that's for sure. Well, that's good. <laughs> no, it's just feeling pretty nice. <laughs> Didn't get too much sealant on this one, but I think it should be good. Right? Yeah. Backups. God damn it. Nice. I'm running out of backups. <laughs> up here in a second. Switch you guys here. Hopefully you're not blinded by the light. Just make sure you have a good shot here. Yes, you do. At least somewhat. Let me make sure I don't knock you over with the hose. Run the hose underneath the tripod. This is scary. I'm on the wood. <laughs> I think I did. I got ahead of myself. Nope. Sorry, Dave, you're going to have sealing on this one. Yeah, sorry. I got done with my boat. I had a lot of life. Perfect glue on, <laughs> on my drill bits. No wonder why I had to get new ones, huh? Yeah. Well, they really seem to dull pretty fast. And yeah, don't make them like they used to. So I feel like Dad has the same has had the same uh, drill bits for for years at this point. 
Yeah, I got a sharpener upstairs. We'll have to try and see if it works or not. <laughs> For drill bits? Yeah. That's interesting. That wasn't the best idea of putting me up. Now underneath this, but all right. Ready? Yeah. Again, mainly for the fact of can't really see or well, kind of really uh, move the cord around here all that well. Uh oh, I may have went a little too tight with this one. I stripped it. I got the nut off. I stripped it. That's not good. Can I see those uh, bigger pliers? Just no, 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 no. Thanks. All right, that's why gotta be careful with impacts. Thankfully, the hole's okay. Technically, even if we had to somehow get get that out, we have bigger rivets that we could have used, but it's better to keep it all the same size. The pliers? Or to... Oh, uh, where did I put those? Just have them. We'll put them. Oh, no, I sent them on that. I just didn't know where, where they're where at. I'm glad I'm not the only one that might lose stuff like that. Do you want to tighten that nut up a little bit? Yeah. Not too much like you did last time. up there now. Ready? again. <laughs> 
not that that would be a bad thing, but we would have to pretty much drill them out, wouldn't we? Some of the sealant driven through. I'll have to wipe it off, make it look pretty, but it's already starting to cube it. I know it. That's why it's like this little stuff that you had on the uh, on the one paper towel over here. I was like, oh my god. <laughs> All right. Notice that before. Got a huge glob of a uh, sealant going over top of it right now. That might be too much. Yeah. Right. <laughs> I agree. There's that uh, paper towels. See if I can't clean it up a little bit. There's not more of that laying around. I don't think I see any more. Uh, well, maybe right there. I might have one more. It's back up on the other side. Show it to you when we're done here. Right. Uh, yeah, taking off that screw now. It's kind of odd. That's the only place that has one. Yeah. I mean, except for maybe one other. One other spot, but no. Oh. Ready? Okay.
I hope that doesn't give us too much problems. I don't see why it would with since we just put the ceiling on there, right? Eric? If I, uh, if I get that ceiling paint, we can always just go over that spot again, too. Give it an extra layer of protection. Going anywhere? Nope. Way stronger than it has to be, that's right. It's the way I like it. Yep. Ready? Yep. Dang it. Got away from me. the rivets we did see the uh, sealant around the outside sorry got in your light there the last one there now I'm gonna hand you off to Dave so you can see it inside it's the inside part uh, you just hold a hammer against it and uh, Kind of mushroom out the uh, the ends here as he's uh, running the uh, it came out pretty solid. Here you go, Scott. One second. And we did have one more little hole, so let me show you guys this real quick. So when I was doing this rivet here. I noticed a small little pin prick of a hole right here. So I put some sealant on that. Then I was looking around and I saw another one right here that does go all the way in right here. You can't really see it, sorry guys. But I'm just gonna put some sealant on it and then hopefully that does the job. way all right well that's how you rivet the transom support i'm going to turn you off there and i'll catch you guys on the next one